Wait a second, baby girl. What are you doing? Having some butter beer. <laughs> Wait a second, is that a butter beer mustache? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, so what are you doing today? I'm standing outside of number four, Privet Drive. Yeah? Looking for the boy under the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Harry Potter? That's him. That's him. Well, to be fair, we both have some butterbeer. You see, we are at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London, taking a tour of the making of Harry Potter with an emphasis on the dark arts, which is what ultimately called us here. We love butterbeer. Mmm, butterbeer. Now, this tour is something both Jessica and I have been wanting to do for quite some time. And the fact that we are here walking through the sets from Harry Potter is just mind blowing. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. Oh, my word. I did it myself. 36, but last year, last year, I had 37. Look at that. Somewhat of a panoramic shot here of the living room and the dining room. Just wait till you see this. Oh my word. I can't believe they have big, you know, sets like this on display. Standing in the kitchen to get a closer shot. Oh. Back up a little bit. Cool camera gear. Thank you. Stop. 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 His eyes are so big. <laughs> so cute. Now they have a couple other things here that we can do before yeah, we actually get in, you know, into the heart of the tour. I've been eyeing this from across the way. It's herbology. Herbology. Look at this. This is what we're going into next. Oh my word. Wait, they actually have screaming mandrakes? They, we actually have screaming mandrakes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright baby girl, go for it. And they're naked. I gotta do it. That one was over a one. Oh man. Please don't pull those ones over the barriers. Oh, I'm torturous. Look at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to remember that these are original costumes from the film, and this one right here that Draco is holding is from the movie. Oh, it's so much fun. This is definitely one of my favorite parts. Just getting started. But this is fun. Getting to pull a screaming mandrake. Ah, it's like a dream come true. I love how pretty much everything so far. It's just interactive. You actually get to walk through the sets. We're going to Hogwarts. We are. This is the Hogwarts Bridge. <laughs> and if you want to, you can even board the night bus. You can even look down the bus itself. There's a reason why they call it the night bus. That's awesome. Right? But wait a second. There's no Ernie over here. But you definitely hear someone. They have a button for him. Oh, they have a button for him? Hit the button. Take it away, Ernie. You can hear him. <laughs> I can yeah. hear him now. Ernie, the right on top of us. <laughs> right from the get-go. We have the dark arts of Death Eaters here. This is a nice welcome to this place. 
Would you look at that? Oh, wow. We're not even in the main attraction, really. This place is, is massively glorious. Right now I'm standing underneath the dragon and I cannot get over how massive this thing is. I'm kind of fearing for my life right now. The line to get into this place is rather long. I wasn't expecting that. It's uh, But they have this like timeline of Harry Potter and the story all right here. It's actually kind of neat, a little photo opportunities. There's a little family picture with the Dursleys. And then it's like a little walk through the house. We've got the cupboard under the stairs right over here. A little setup. Well, that's fun. This is enough to make your head spin. We've got a little bit of everything on the walls here, from the movies to the books to behind the scenes stuff. Everything here is laid out ready for production. It is what, what we you're call about to in see. the film industry a hot set. So it's ready for filming, it looks great on camera. Please feel free to take as many photos as you like. Especially as you can see, we have dressed the Great Hall for the Halloween feast in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. If you take a look up above your head, you can see 80 voting pumpkins. Are you excited? Are you stupidly excited? Stupidly excited. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. And I'm walking through the Great Hall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me turn this camera and look at this. So what you're looking at right now is the actual Great Hall that they filmed the movie. I would not recommend trying to take bites out of any of this. As the majority of it is fake food, it is made of cold, hard, oh, plastic resin. Oh, my freaking word. There are a few real things that And of course, because it's Halloween and it's the dark arts, there's pumpkins everywhere. In order to preserve them for the few months that they are in their blue and silver robes, look at all of that. By the fireplace is the house of our heroes. Oh, my gosh. And then you've got little Halloween dog. lollipops right now, there. Now, there is one costume in the Oh, that's fun. That's section, so much fun. Which is very, very special. Experience. They have the house ghosts here in the corner. Look at that. Wow. So this is kind of like a guided tour, the first part. And once we leave this room, it's a self-guided tour. I was just grabbing so they're kind of getting yeah, us through right. the Great Hall very quickly. There's Michael Gambon, who just died recently. Look at that. Again, everything you were about to see are real sets from the movie, real props, real costumes. And let's not forget that we are standing where the Harry Potter movies were filmed. I mean, yes, they filmed out in the wild and like actual sets, the actual places, but they built all the sets here. This is where all the magic really began. And we're experiencing it. Like, I'm kind of losing my mind right now. I'm kind of losing my mind. Wait until you see what we are looking at. The next little exhibit we come to is for the Yule Ball. And talk about beautiful. Now they said that pretty much the entire tour, if you took your time and read everything, it would take about three hours. And right next to that, they have the Great Chocolate Feast. Now this is something else. There really is just a lot to look at. There's costumes, hair and makeup as soon as you walk in. So we're going to walk by that real quickly. I'm sure you can recognize a few different things like this one right over here, Luna Lovegood. Each one of them still has labels on it. 
from the character. They even have a rather large wig section from the movie. It's really easy to take all of this for granted. You're seeing these really cool creations, but then you realize these were all production used. All of the characters wore all of these wigs and clothes and were on all of these sets. It's kind of mind blowing and I might have a meltdown. I'm, I'm just saying. You see this? Sirius Black's Azkaban uniform. Well, his prison uniform. <laughs> My word. I want it. We need this in our house somehow. We need this. It should also be noted that these are the sets that survived. They had to tear a lot of them down. And a few of them they kept. Well, who am I kidding? Not a few of them. They kept, they kept a lot of them. And we're just getting started. Don't get me wrong, seeing the sets is pretty amazing, but also seeing the characters, like the wardrobe, it's like you're standing there with them. My word, this is a lot to say. So this right here is a hallway from the Leaky Cauldron where they are using force perspective. It's a lot of fun. I kind of want to walk up in there, but sadly we can't. Off limits. Now tell me this, do you fancy a bogger? Walking through the hall, you actually get to see the Gryffindor boys dormitory. The one coming up right in about the center of your screen now, that one was Harry Potter's bed. And they have everything on display here. Check out this display case with everybody's wands in them. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having this hanging in our living room as well. Wow. All right, talk about sensory overload. They have things everywhere and there are people everywhere. And it's a little overstimulating, that's for sure. But you just gotta kinda gotta take your time and just walk through and check it all out. There are a ton of people here, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this all in one long shot, but I'm gonna try to. They have the giant set of the potions classroom here. Oh my word. Well, this is half of it. it. Goes all the way down there. Okay, I could live here. I could live here. I really could. You can hear Snape down here talking. See what I mean? It just goes on and on. Our new <laughs> I mean, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? And what is the difference between monkshood and wolf? I knew that he had some pretty amazing stuff here, but I was not expecting this. This is enough to make your uh, your little grim hearts crawl. Isn't everything. No, it's not. <laughs> Baby, I don't know about you, but I think we need a room like this in our house. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of one? They even have the Slytherin common room set up. The scale of this is is just blowing my mind. And you know what? If you're going to have the Slytherin common room, you have to have the Gryffindor common room. I'm sorry. I, I just can't get over the scale of this place. Truly something else. And here's the Griffin stairwell. 
heading up to Dumbledore's office. It's crazy how detailed all of this is. Uh, right now we are in Dumbledore's office. Just kind of walking around showing how it looks from all angles. My word. Now, of course they would have Hagrid's hut. Oh, what fun is this? When presenting the Triwizarding Cup, it was housed in this, and if you remember, the top kind of melted away. <laughs> and they also have all kinds of other trophies over here as well. I love that they're all moving. And then if you really want to, you can do... It's like a Quidditch experience. Oh, wow. I really love how they have all the vehicles set up. Most of them are either moving or turned on. It's fun. It's fun for sure. They even have the Whomping Willow when it hits the car. And would you look at this? They have the actual door to the Chamber of Secrets. There's two trunks right next to the Chamber of Secrets. This one here is Mad Eye Moody's trunk. And then right next to that, we got Remus Lupin's trunk. Have you ever been to a fair? And then they have those little shotgun rifle things where you like put a quarter in and then you shoot the target. That's what this feels like. But this is the Weasley household, the burrow. And they have these little button set up for these little like motion sensors where you can make things happen like you can see that knife cutting the carrot right now I'm making the pan move in the sink with my hand what I mean by that it says it right here what wave your hand to wash the pan that's me this place just keeps getting better and better and darker and darker. Now be still my little grim heart. This one has to be my favorite. It is a meeting at Malfoy Manor. Oh man. Okay, we need a kitchen table like this.
we have the Ministry of Magic here. And then if you look up here in the top right of your screen, you might find a tomb that looks a little familiar. High, hidden way up there so nobody can touch it. Also, high on the wall, they have the Black Family Tree Tapestry. All of this was made for the movie. All of it. We have more Ministry of Magic. This time it's the atrium. Just cheer for the scale. It absolutely is one of those ones that you every time. And if you love villains, who doesn't love Dolores Umbridge? And all of her pink splendor. Oh, this is just really fun. Well, look at this. You can even walk up and meet a Death Eater. <laughs> this is phenomenal. There's one behind you too, just so you know. See that one? You'll remember these as the gates to Hogwarts grounds to the castle, but here, they're leading us to the Forbidden Forest. Let's check it out. You can tell there's a lot of people here. We're gonna try our best to get this all in one long shot. I can't promise anything, but it is just beautiful. The floor is squishy. Oh yeah, it is squishy. It's like walking through a forest. Hello everybody in the Ministry of Magic area. If you would like to head on down to the roof here, right next to the Magic Point statue, we're about to begin our next All right, so around every tree, there looks like there's something to look at. Here's Voldemort. But yeah, we're not gonna do this all in one long shot. We're gonna take our time. This one here has a little lever that we can change the scene from day to night. Go ahead, change it to night. Oh, that's fun. Well, hopefully you're not afraid of spiders. Because we got some creatures crawling down right now. Pretty cool, right? Looks like next up we have platform nine and three quarters. Oh my word. Okay, I don't know why, but I was not expecting this. This is massive. Looks like they have a little like photo opportunity over here, a couple different ones, so everybody has time to get their pictures. All right, baby goal, through the wall you go. Oh! <laughs> Best to give it a bit of a run if you're nervous. So it turns out this is the halfway part. There's a cafe down there where we can stop and we can grab a bite to eat if we want. There's a little gift shop, a place to just kind of like relax. We're halfway through the tour, baby goal. So they said roughly three hours, so it was probably about an hour, hour and a half we did in there. We have a whole other section to do. It feels are like you, it. Are you hungry yet? Do you want to take a bite, maybe get a butterbeer? Maybe a butterbeer. Oh, yeah. Anything from the trolley dance? No thanks. I'm all set. We'll take the lot. Next up, we have the creature and effect shops. And with all these monsters and masks everywhere, one thing stands out to you. The first thing in the room you call out, you were almost in tears, what is it? It was this little guy. He was the unfortunate target of the fake Professor Moody during class that receives all of the focus from the unforgivable curses. Uh, yeah, that's right. But did you know that is a real bug in real life? They exist and they are that big. Yeah. I don't know the name, unfortunately, but I, le I learned that because of this film. I can still hear this little guy screaming. Yes, I can too. It sticks with you. It does. It's very sad.
what's fun about these four, all four of these characters were played by Warwick Davis. And they have them all right here. There is no, no way to properly describe the look of walking or the feeling of walking into this place. It is huge. It is massive. It is magnificent. Now the closest thing that we've ever done to this was Harry Potter World in Orlando, the Gringotts ride. But this is, this is the real deal. the vaults they use when they went looking for war cruxes. This is gorgeous. It's like, does this tour ever end? This is stunning. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my word. I really hope that watching this, you, you feel the magnitude of what I'm looking at right now. If not, man, I'm doing something wrong because this is glorious. We have another photo opportunity here where you can try to pick up your very own Horcrux. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> I thought it couldn't get any cooler. It does. I'm telling you what, if they have in the gift shop wanted posters for Bellatrix Lestrange, we might have to get one, especially coming from here. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty breathtaking. This is pretty breathtaking. And they also have Death Eaters here. Of course they would. You have to have Ollivanders. And then up here at the end of the street on the left, there might be a shop that looks a little familiar to you. Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. I love everything about this place. Oh my word, Jessica's down there taking pictures. I'm probably mad at me because I'm in her shot. This is something else. Now would you look at that. This is what we've been waiting for. We were wondering where this was. That is massive. I keep saying that, but Massive is an understatement. Can you imagine building and painting this? A oh, baby ghoul. Being this close to this thing. Like we saw pictures of it online. You see pictures everywhere. But to actually stand here. I mean, we can actually get closer to it. But just here on the balcony, what are your thoughts? They have the little lights on for when the students arrive. Right? It's so magical. So when you stand here long enough, you can actually see the different times of day. Right now, I got the dark heart, um, the dark, the dark mark up on the. I'm a little lost for words here. The dark mark up there on the tower, and it's nighttime. It's 
talk about a grand finale. The cool thing about this is the pathway, the ramp that goes down, wraps all the way around Hogwarts and the property, so you get to see everything. The more you walk around it, the more views of the castle you get. Man. Oh man, okay. I got chills. I got chills. Now that's a shot of the castle, look at that. And I guess in a way this is saving the best for last, because look at that. All right, I wasn't expecting all of this. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come from my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 